Hi, it's Lisa here from Capstone Editing. The purpose of this video is to explain how to use parentheses or brackets correctly. The etymology of the word parenthesis gives us insight into its grammatical purpose. According to the Macquarie Dictionary, the term is a medieval Latin word derived from the Greek. It means putting in beside. This effectively sums up the role of parentheses. Parentheses permit an aside or explanatory interjection within a section of text. So they're used in pairs to enclose an explanatory interjection within a sentence. And they can also contain whole sentences that function as side notes. Parentheses are used to create an aside, an explanatory remark or side note. In the following example, taken from The Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald has used parentheses so his narrator, Nick, can introduce a rumour about Daisy. This rumour is a relevant side note to the plot, but doesn't progress the sequence of events. For this reason, it has been enclosed within parentheses. She hinted in a murmur that the surname of the balancing girl was Baker. I've heard it said that Daisy's murmur was only to make people lean towards her, an irreverent criticism that made it no less charming. As an aside, Fitzgerald has actually used a semicolon incorrectly in his paragraph, if you can't tell why it's incorrect, please watch my video on how to use semicolons correctly. Parentheses can also be used in the same way within a sentence, such as in the following example. As I never saw my father or my mother, and never saw any likenesses of either of them, for their days were long before the days of photographs, my first fancies regarding what they were like were unreasonably derived from their tombstones. In this example, taken from Great Expectations, Charles Dickens encloses an aside that clarifies why Pip doesn't have any knowledge of what his parents look like. You'll notice the comma is placed outside of the parentheses. This is because the section within the parentheses is a side note linked to the dependent clause and never saw any likeness of either of them. Therefore, the comma goes at the end of the dependent clause, which is considered to be after the side note within the brackets. To use parentheses correctly, the sentence must make complete sense if the parentheses and their contents were removed. To use parentheses correctly, it's also important to be mindful of how to punctuate them. When a whole sentence is contained within parentheses, such as in our example from The Great Gatsby, the full stop is also enclosed inside the brackets. In this example from Jane Eyre, when an aside is placed within a sentence before a full stop, the full stop is placed outside the brackets. Again, the sentence should make complete sense if the parenthetical section were removed. Another use of parentheses to be aware of is author date referencing styles such as APA and Harvard for in-text citations which contain author names, dates of publication and page numbers. I hope you found this video really useful. If you have, please do like it and share it with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to the Capstone Editing YouTube channel for more videos on grammar and academic writing. Thanks. Thank you.